Solving trigonometric equations, question 6. Solve cos square x plus sin x equals to 2, where x is between 0 and 2 pi. So in these questions, what we can do is we can write cos square x as sin square x, and then we'll get a quadratic equation in sin, right? And then we can solve for it. So that's what we are going to do. So I can write this as, let me copy the question first, cos square x plus sin x equals to 2. So cos square x can be written as 1 minus sin square x plus sin x equals to 2. Now let's take each and every term on this side and then write our equation as 0 equals to sin square x. So I'm just rearranging all these things minus sin x. And when you take 1 on this side it becomes 2 minus 1 which is 1, right? Plus 1. Now so this is a quadratic equation and we can always factor this or use the quadratic formula to find what sin x is, right? Now, so the variable here is sin x, right? The coefficients a, b, and c for us are 1, 1, and 1, right? So what do we see here? So we see b square, if you see how many solutions will this equation have, you do b square minus 4ac right if you do b square b is 1 right a is 1 and c is also 1 so that means 1 minus 4 times a is 1 and c is also 1 which gives us uh, 1 minus 4 which is minus 3 right now since b square minus 4 is a negative number there is no solution do you see that so for this particular equation there is no solution right since b square minus 4 is c is less than zero it's negative now we say since b square minus 4 ac is less than zero right no solution so there could be equations which have no solution at all correct that's kind of important even if you use quadratic formula you end up with this in the square root correct and square root for negative numbers will not have any solution so say no solution in the domain of in real numbers right so normally we are, we are saying x belongs to real numbers right so in the domain of real numbers we don't have any solution for this equation so that's a very interesting example no solution 